Hello and welcome to this episode, uh, episode 3 of me working on my go-kart. In this episode we actually get to finally ride it after all this time. And we had to clean it off. I'm, if, I'm tired, so if uh, I sound tired and everything, um, I'm filming the intro after we finished the whole video. So I'm all sweaty and finally finished this. Uh, everything wrote it. I'm going to have to edit it. Uh, so this is a fun video to make, but you know, all we had to do was wash it off and everything. I can get off the trailer. We're going to push it off the trailer, put it down over here to wash it because it has gotten dirty since I haven't I'll used it. Down off the trailer. You yeah. Why? Why? So the wheel is running over here. You got to pick it up and move it over. Okay. I got it. We'll okay. It. So, <laughs> <laughs> been in the uh, backyard out in the weather for a little while. It's been two months since I actually has uh, worked on it. But we're going to finally get to work on it today. We're finally going to get to work on it. Why is it wheel locking up the It's uh, is on uh, floating over the ground. It's uh, over the ground. Okay. They didn't tell me that. Okay. So all we got to do is quickly rinse it off. And then we will be able to... Before you start anything, I haven't been started in a while. Well, actually, I just started it like literally like 10 minutes ago. We need to check the oil. Did yes. you check the oil in it? No. But there, uh, we need a little bit more gasoline in it. Yes, I got it. And we got gasoline. So, we're going to wash it off. And then we're going to ride it down in the meadow. Because the meadow's finally dry after all these years. Alright, we're filling the tank up with ethanol gas mid grade. That has stable in it so it doesn't rust the carburetor and ruin the engine. Yeah, we don't need that to happen because this is a fairly new uh, engine. All right, that's done. Now we got to check the oil in it. Yes, because it's been sitting out for so long, we don't want to get anything to go wrong. Uh, we have not replaced the brakes yet. We probably won't get to that because the brakes are just way too expensive. But at least uh, we get to ride it. And you can probably tell by the tone of my voice, I'm really excited. To finally get to ride this after two months of working on it, after I painted it, I like to call this the cream sickle. This is a cream sickle motorcycle. I like to call it the motorcycle because it's a cream sickle color. We're checking the oil. Yeah, we're checking the oil right here. Uh, the battery on my camera is going dead, so I'm going to have to change that real quick. Look like somebody got way too much oil in it, son. Yeah, it's starting Who to leak out. I don't know. It's leaking out all over the place. Well, I think the oil's fine if it's leaking out that no, good. That, too much oil in the engine can ruin an engine. Well, yeah, that, but the oil looks fine in itself and ain't burnt or anything. No, it's too full. Yes. So it's going to have to empty out. See, the reason I'm smelling that oil, because if you have a leak in that uh, carburetor, that water, that oil, a gasoline go down inside that oil filter. Yeah. I'm going to hurry up and change the battery of my camera real quick. The tire's flat. We're going to have to fill it up with air. We don't know the exact PSI for it just yet, but... You look on the side of the tire and it tells you. Yes, it tells you on the side of the tire. But if I'm not mistaken, it should be 32 PSI like any other vehicle tire. Or it might even be less, but I really don't, have, I really don't know. But I'm pretty sure that is. The problem is, is I realize that there's no cap on this. So I don't know... If that's why air is getting out, because there's no cap on it. But this whole thing needs to be rinsed off completely. So the uh, tire actually says a 7 PSI. We found it. So don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's not 34. It's 7. Look at that tire. It's going up. Okay. So it should be 7 PSI. Do you have anything to check the tire um, yes, sir. pressure amount? Called a Sears tire gauge. Okay. It's electronic, battery operated. It's precise. It's very good. Yes. 
got we're not sponsored, so right, look. How many pounds do they have on that tire right now? It's got I can't zoom in any more. Uh I can't read it from this angle. Five. It says five. Five point zero. Make sure you see that point in there. So you just air up the tire. It's a seven PSI. It was originally five, so it should be good now. Ten point five. That's too much. Alright, so what you get that air come out? Yep. Ten. Ten. Nine point five. No cold air is coming out of it still. Yeah, I know. How much is it now? Nine. Right. It, it should be just. It's seven. Why? You, oh. It's nine. I know the original PSI was seven. I'm now it's eight. eight. I'm leaving on eight. All right, read your front tires. Then my tires short down. Okay. I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> We just realized uh, that this tire is actually on backwards because the stem is actually on this side. I don't know if you can see it, but this stem is literally on the inside, which is not supposed to be like that. And I totally didn't even notice when I was painting this thing, which is always, crazy. Always, folks, remember this. The valve stem always goes to the outside, put the proper amount of air in there, and then you save. And always put valve caps on it because it prevents uh, leakage. Uh, leakage in it. Yes. So we bought this huge, like so many years ago, and apparently whoever built this put the wheel on backwards and put too much oil in it, the uh, motor. But the motor is new, so it might have been one of us. I don't know. It's been so long. We oh, almost got this thing ready to be washed. Right. About, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... How do you accidentally put this on backwards? Because it's a split rim, it comes apart. Yes. And they put this... this the rim comes in two like this. It's got a tube in there. And they should have put this side on the outside and this side on the inside. Yes. They did just backwards. Fast backwards. Which is crazy. No, it's just this. That's the reason I always trust your local mechanic in it. There's lamps on Failed attempt. Dang. Oh, let's try this again.
go around this curve. Okay, let's see how fast this goes. Crazy. My GoPro quit working though. I'm gonna see if I can through.
those are the brakes whistling. I probably shouldn't do that. So we got the we got the belt just flew off. We tore up the belt. It's still hot. You watch on. Because I I was straddling it. It's left here. Yes. That but, might not be going all the way out when that belt's a wide belt and fit that in. You need that old belt to get your new belt for it. Same yes. Belt. Yes. Uh. So it's hot, Joy. Yeah, it's hot. But uh, it just cut. It happens. That's what Forrest Gump said. It happens. Oh, because uh, it happens uh, when we drove it before. Uh, we had to replace it like five times. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to, we had to fix it some way. Uh, we're gonna have to figure it out. Oil bubbling out from that thing because it's getting hot. It was I smelled well, it. I, I can smell no, feel it. I don't yeah. see it's still full now. It's full now. So we ruined the uh, well. The belt's gone. We had to push it all the way up. <laughs> but we're gonna have we're just gonna grease it next time. See if it helps. Yeah. No, but don't get no grease inside there. Get on, see that right there? That thing pulls in and out. Don't you, Donna? Yes, sir. It's so bad if it's not too hot, throw it over on the Oh, okay. That yeah. Oh. Ain't that bad. Ripped. Ah, yeah, it's still hot. It is. Whew. It's if we can't put it on the. Well, I mean, it's not hot when you first touch it, but then it starts burning after yeah. a while. Well, I got, that was fun when it lasted. I tried to drift with it. I don't know how good it looked, well, but from here. Drift, so you got be tired, it won't drift good like that. Yeah, but Daddy made it drift but once. Right there, though, when it kind of damp. Yeah. Can you feel yourself going? Yeah, I, I, the problem is, is that I kept feeling myself sliding out. We need uh, to do something. Even if we had to add, like, a strap in there just to keep you in place. You need a better seat. To yes, because it's not even connected. But I tried it. drifting so hard, but I couldn't do it. Yeah, it's hard to do. It is really hard. Exactly. But the there's there's also another problem I figured out. When I was turning sharp, yeah. and I was still pushing, this tire hit that area, and it rubbed off all the paint right there. It was completely turned, and then it was, and also the steering wheel quit working when you sharp it. Yeah. It's just still going straight, even though it's turned. That's because your front end got like, all right, look, this wheel right here is straight now, see? Yes. So that wheel's not as outward. Yeah. What you have to do is take this tie rod in right here. Take it loose right here and screw that in. I'll pull that wheel over this way. See, it pull over that way. It pops off there. Yeah. And screw that in. Somebody's got it screwed out there for some reason. 
Yeah, but whenever you turn it too far and you're still going, you keep going straight and it doesn't want to turn. Yeah. And uh, so I had to be careful with that. With your yeah. alignment's out. But the way to align these, put something like this, right in the middle of that tire, put it here and mark it. Yep. Then go to the front, do the same thing. All right, see how much it's off? It's off from here to here. Yes, it's it's off a lot. Yeah. But there's no problem. See, so you can adjust each side of this thing. I say, pop that off there, screw that in, it'll pull it this way. And that'll correct itself. Yes. It's called the front end alignment. I was trying to uh, drift. I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. We'll put more but, on the grass. Yeah, or we'll put oil on sure, tires. Would. We're going to push it up there, and I'll, I'll get back when we do. Finally done filming for this video. So I'm going to do an outro when I get home. And I'm going to... I still have to... At the time of recording this video right here, I actually still got to uh, record the intro, so. And also, he won first place in the race. Yeah, I'm the only one who raced, so-called, quote-unquote, <laughs> race. Put that in there. Yeah, okay. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm sweating. It's, it's a good degrees outside. It's 85. It's still hot, and, though. He went up to Papaw's house and uh, rode it on his uh, six-acre property up there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but... I'm going to have to, rec when I get home, I'm going to record the intro and outro. We still have a lot of work on it, like fixing the uh, brakes and then uh, the, the belt. belt, getting the new belt for it, and yeah. possibly making the belt cover to go on top of it and changing the oil. But please like. I didn't notice this, but the motor actually turned this whole thing black, this whole white paint. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Even down there. Maybe that wasn't a good idea to paint that white because now it's all going to be completely black. But it just adds to the color. I like it. So, also, I like, I still like how he painted that red for break and green for go. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. <laughs> I had a whole lot of fun. I, I'm sad that the belt broke, but uh, um, we're got, we have, like I said, two more. And so, I might do it more riding later. I might have move more episodes, but it's right as of right now. This is the end of the trilogy, and um, hope y'all enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and check out my uh, the other two videos of me working on this, painting it, grinding it, and everything. Uh, also, please watch the other playlists on my channel of us restoring the 1972 Volkswagen Super Beetle and my dad's truck. Um, and I hope y'all subscribe for more content like this, and thank you for watching. Bye.